Today is September 28th, 1911. My name is Rosalind Bell Rose. I am 11 years old and I live in Paris, France. I have a mama, papa, an older sister whose name is Jacqueline. She is 14. And a younger sister whose name is Allison and is 6. My family has decided to immigrate to America because of all the poverty in France. Also, my family is going to America because of all the opportunities it has for my family and I. My father has already immigrated to America, so we are going to meet him there. My father has been working and he has sent us the tickets himself. My family only got third class tickets. I wonder what it will be like on the ship. I have started packing for our journey to America. I am packing a skirt, a shirt, and a scarf. Jacqueline packs the same things I pack. My mama is packing for Allison and herself. My mama also packs some cooking utensils. When everybody is done, my mama puts our family Bible on top. I cannot believe it is my last night here in Paris. I am terrified of what will come next. It is September 30th, 1911. It is the day we leave for Paris and go to the seaport. I am very scared to go. I make sure I have packed everything I need. Then I go outside to say a big goodbye to my best friend, Catherine. I knew this was the last time I would ever see her. We all, we start to cry a little. It is so hard leaving. Then my family goes. We need to get to Le Havre. It took hours to get there. First, we walked a few miles without stopping. Then we took a train the rest of the way. It has taken us one whole day to get to the port. It is October 1st, 1911. Then we got on the ship. The ship was called SS Chicago. It is a steamship. We got on and went to third class. We were one of the first to get on the ship. My mama says we are going to be sailing for nine days. I was so scared to set sail. Third class was so crowded. Allison was whining like crazy. She was giving me a headache. I didn't want to go to America. I wanted to stay here in Paris. It is October 2nd, 1911. It has been a rough first day at sea. The beds are tight together and the food is horrible. The, fo the food is boiled and disgusting. To eat, we are given a spoon and a metal plate for nine days. Allison started feeling sick. Jacqueline has been very calm about this and I don't know how she is so calm. The ship starts to go over some big waves. I want to go up to the deck to see for myself, but it's for first class only. I really don't like the ship. It is October 3rd, 1911. I have tried to sleep, but I can't. It is very crowded. It, it is very hard to be on a ship this long. I am not even halfway through my journey, and I, want, and I already want to turn around. It looks like everyone else is still asleep, but I don't understand how people sleep when it's so crowded. My mama is mainly taking care of Allison, and, ja and Jacqueline is not helping me feel better about being on the ship. I hope it gets better from here. It is October 4th, 1911. Sleeping has gotten easier for me. I still don't like it here. Now there is a terrible smell down here in third class. I was hoping the food would get better, but it doesn't. It gets worse. The food has this terrible smell to it. I looked, I looked up and saw that what first class got to eat. It looked really good. Currently, my days at sea are getting worse. It is really bad on this ship. It is October 5th, 1911. I am almost at Ellis Island. It has been a rough few days on this ship. I wish that I didn't have to go on this ship. I am so tired, I can't get enough sleep on this ship. It is not pleasant. It is October 9th, 1911. Today is the day we are going to be arriving in America. I saw the Statue of Liberty. It was such a sight to see. I got to go up on deck and see it for myself. It was amazing. Then we finally docked at Ellis Island. I was so happy to get off the ship. When we got off, there were a bunch of people telling us where to go. I was so, co I was so confused where to go because I didn't speak their language. When we got inside, there were a bunch of lines. My family and I got into one of the lines. We dropped off our bag at, at this place. Then we went to, to a bunch of stairs. It was a very long line for something. It took long. It took almost an hour to get through. When I got to the front, there was a doctor, and he looked at my eye with his hook. 
Then he looked at me for any, anything like breathing problems. Then I sat down in another room. It was a really big room. It was already nighttime, so I went to sleep on the bench. It is October 10th, 1911. I woke up and went, in, went to another room with my family. It looked like we were having a medical exam. I was really scared I would need to be sent back to Paris. There was a doctor taking notes. I also saw the doctor marking people with chalk. Then it was my turn. I was really scared. I went up, up. The doctor looked at me and I went. The officer asked us a lot of different questions. Like, are you married? How many bags do you have? Where are you going? Then we went to a bunch of stairs. We asked somebody where we are where we go he told us to go down one of the stairs we went down the side to go to new york then at the bottom of the stairs was a machine to exchange money then i saw my papa i was so excited to see him then i went to go live in new york it has been two months since i have gotten to america my family and i live in a tenement on the lower east side it is beautiful here in america it is very hard in school because i do not speak their language my papa has a job. It is very hard to make friends in America. I really miss my old friends in Paris. It is not the same without them. At first, I thought immigrating to America was not a good idea. But now, I think it was a great idea. My mama was right. There are a lot of opportunities. But other than that, I love it here in America.